And the purpose of this announcement is to tell you a little bit about uh, what our plans are as the week goes on. As most of you already know, we have a weather forecast that shows that we're going to have uh, bitterly cold temperatures. In fact, the temperatures are probably going to be colder than we have seen for many, many years. So to give you a little bit on the uh, guidelines that we use are, uh, first off, if the actual air temperature is 10 degrees below zero or colder, we will contemplate a delay or a cancellation. And if the wind chills are 20 degrees below zero or colder, we will do the same. So we're looking at all of those kind of things as factors as it goes along. We monitor the weather on a regular basis. Likewise, we drive roads in those areas to make determinations on the safety uh, for students and for employees during this time. Uh, the other thing you need to know is this week may be the transition that we use between makeup days and e-learning days. Currently, we have used four of our five makeup days, which are built into the calendar, and they are um, scheduled for the week prior to our guaranteed week of spring break, which is the week of um, March 18th. And if we go beyond that, then we will start using e-learning day. So the first day that we missed this week, we would use it as a regular makeup day as part of the week of March 18th. And then if we go beyond that, then we will start our e-learning days. I think everybody's familiar with those as we have uh, done those with our flex learning. And with that, also, I just want to remind people that students have three days to make up their homework assignments that are um, accessible through Canvas and the e-learning. Also, to monitor all of this, we will use our normal methods. We will be using school messenger sending out alerts. We also notify the local radio and television outlets. We put it on Facebook, on Twitter, and we put it on the school corporation website. So you'll be able to find out what we're doing as things change. We know how the weather forecasts um, have changed almost on a daily basis. So we will see how that goes. Also want to tell all of the parents, I know sometimes uh, you're concerned about your child and say, I don't think you should have been going to school that day. Ultimately, uh, it's the responsibility of the parents to determine if it's safe to go. We make those determinations, but if a parent would um, decide that I don't think it's safe enough, I think it's too cold, I think there's too much snow, I think it's too slick, or whatever the situation may be, um, the parent can determine they're going to keep their child home from school. If they do that, they need to contact the school as they would for a normal absence. The absence will be marked per state code as a regular excused absence and all of the normal policies um, take place. So that's a real quick summary of what we're looking forward to this week. Uh, we'll keep you up to date as much as we possibly can. Uh, make sure you have the, the winter coats, the gloves, the hats. Wear those this week. Keep warm. And uh, it is Indiana. We will get through it. Spring will be here soon. So um, monitor your social media and have a great day.